the second book in the Maze Runner trilogy. Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester, and today I have this great book with me, The Scorch Trials, by James Dashner himself, and well, let's get right on to it. Remember last book where Thomas and the Gladers were rescued? Well, that's all BS. It was all part of the trials. And they wake up in a room, and they almost starve to death, and then this man named Durant Man suddenly appears, and he goes, Oh, you have to go through this huge another trial, and it's called the Scorch Trials, where you have to run through this area of the earth that's completely filled with cranks, which are people who are infected by this disease called the flare, which drives a person insane, and kind of make them like zombies, basically. They want to eat you. Yeah, it, that, that's how bad it is. And they all must go through the Scorch, to the safe point called the safe haven and they want to survive that is of course their goal however if they stay behind they die so well let's just say that all of them went through the flat trans into the scorch okay so first off there's a giant there's a literally a floating ball that cuts cuts your face off Yep, typical, mm -hmm. and we lose a couple people with that, and then through the desert, we, we lose several people again and again. And meanwhile, while they are going through, they hear Teresa, so they hear Teresa screaming. So Thomas goes to check it out, and Teresa kisses him and says that he should not trust her. Meanwhile, we're going more and more and more, and we're going through the Scorch. And then suddenly there's a freaking storm. But this is no ordinary storm. There's no... There's no lightning. There, I mean, there's no rain. It's just dry lightning and thunder. <coughs> bless, bless me. Anyway. Yeah, and it's crazy. And they lose a couple people because of that. And they manage to run, 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 run. And they see a little town and they take shelter in a house. However, they are suddenly surrounded by crank by a group of cranks led by a nam man named George and his second in command, Brenda. They are all cranks, which means that they have the flare, but they they haven't had the flare for that long. Therefore, they aren't completely cuckooed. Basically, who they they don't want to eat each other yet, and basically these cranks, they hear each other, they hear them out, and then George decides that he wants to help, he wants to help the Gladers, because the Gladers are going to the safe haven, and the Cranks also want to be rescued. So George doesn't tell the rest of his clan of Cranks, but, but himself and Brenda, together, they are going in, which is great. So, but, alas, they are attacked by another group of Cranks, and they are separated. The rest of the Gladers and George are going together. Meanwhile, himself, well, the main character, Thomas, and the girl named Brenda, they're going together as well. Meanwhile, and Brenda, Brenda and, Brenda and Thomas gets, well, captured by an, an, another group of Cranks, and then they get drunk, and Brenda almost kisses um, our dear Thomas. However, Thomas flat out rejects him, saying that he likes Teresa, which gotta hurt, like seriously. And then they are rescued by Minho leading the Gladers, and they come in, and they manage to rescue them. However, shot by a rusty bullet. Thomas is shot by a rusty bullet. Because of that, the, the wicked people had to literally sweep in and rescue Thomas, because they thought that since it wasn't a part of the trials, letting Thomas die of that way didn't count. They're basically playing with people's lives. It's it's messed up. It's definitely messed up. And then and then they encounter group B, which is the group of girls, and they basically just like capture Thomas and they want to kill him. Which is just absolutely ridiculous. And Teresa reveals that he had she had been manipulating him all along and that she actually loved Eris and no one else. And she basically shuts Thomas in a room 
and then all goes dark. And Thomas wakes up, and he realizes that the room didn't really do anything, and he's fine. And Teres reveals that Wicked had, had basically threatened her and Eris that they would die if, you know, if they, did, they didn't follow the orders. And they knew that Thomas wouldn't die, and they had to make sure that Thomas felt betrayed. However, Thomas doesn't really trust them after that, and because of it, they, they well, they don't trust each other anymore, basically. And then they finally reach the safe haven, and they fight their way through a couple monsters, and finally they reach the helicopter, and they are rescued. And that's the end of the book. So, what it really reminds me of is the, is the Lord of the Flies bug, with the kids running around warring and everything. And it also reminds me of the Hunger Games, where, you know, they kill each other. And Divergent, as I've mentioned in the first book. Um, I've gotta say that it's probably one of the most complicated and twisting plots that I've ever encountered in my life. Like, with that Teresa going like, Oh, you have to trust me. I know that the next couple parts is gonna be painful. And then her going like, Oh, I betrayed you because... Um, yeah, duh. And then she's like, Oh, I had to betray you because I was threatened by Wicked. To, to give you a sense of betrayal, and it's like so confusing, and it makes the readers become extremely paranoid, and we kind of get why Thomas would be paranoid by the end of the book, because, well, duh, he's been duped and manipulated so many freaking times, and it literally gave me a headache. And all in all, it is a very, very good book, and I would highly recommend it to anyone who wants to read it, but if you have a weak let's say, weak mind, then I wouldn't, because there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of death, and it's a typical science fiction book. And like always, your book Quester and your book Questers, probably one of the best science fiction books that I have read, alongside with The Masters, Divergent, Hunger Games, and etc. Have a great day!